2000 and today we're going camping we were going to stay two nights but we can't uh, we have a lot of appointments this week monday he has a doctor appointment and i have therapy so we're we can stay out there pretty pretty late if we want to tomorrow depends on the weather uh, it's supposed to rain tonight so i don't know we'll see what happens but I have all the gear here. Shea Bear already left. He rode his bike in his little tent. And we have something else here that we're going to do a demonstration on. So we'll get right to it, okay? And I'll show you my back here. Yeah, that's all my stuff. We're camping. So we're doing this for one night. I'm not happy about it. I'm really not. But... I was thinking maybe we need to take a whole week and just put our stuff out there for a whole week. It's so close to the house that if we want to come back and forth, we can. We can go out there for a little while. We can come back. You know, we can enjoy a little bit longer. So anyways, when I get there, I will show you our site. So we're here. It does not take me long to get here at all. So, see if I can sit you down. I had to open the gate and everything so I did that already yeah so that's good so let's go down here and uh, I don't know I'm trying to find a spot for you all you can kind of sit there and look a little bit I'm sorry you got to look at the hood a little bit but that's the best I can do okay so here we go give you a little for people who've never seen it before. I know the ones who follow me pretty much have probably seen this a dozen times. But it's so pretty in here. This is my favorite spot. And he knows it. <laughs> I think we need to spend a whole week out here. I need to de-stress. But it's hard because he's got doctor appointments. My mom's got doctor appointments. And I got doctor appointments. Plus I'm in rehab again. So... But at least if we came out here, we could just go back and forth, you know, if we had to. You know, we had a doctor appointment, we could leave and just come back out here later. You know, whatever. That's what I'm thinking. You know, it'd be nice to be out here for a whole week. Just to relax and enjoy it a bit better. So, well, it looks like a tree fell down. Oof. Yeah, what a mess. Somebody cut it kind of up. Probably was blocking the uh, road. So, yeah, I see that. So, I don't have Bruno with me right now. I want to go back and I got to feed my mom and give her a medicine. Um, we'll bring Bruno out. It's just really hot right now. It's in high 90s. So, and we got things we got to do. So, I w wanted to make sure that, you know, it was a little cooler before I brought him out tonight. Uh, that's just nothing important. It's just my seatbelt. <laughs> so. so I left him there. <laughs> I think she likes it when I leave him, you know. It, it just gives her a little security and she has somebody to talk to. <laughs> so it kind of helps her out too a little bit. I think he was a little upset with me because I didn't bring him. But I told him I'd come back and get him. So, where did Shea Bear go? Oh, there he is. I see him. So, he got the shelter, the one that we wanted before, and he got it this time. So, there ain't nobody out here. Nobody. It's probably too hot. Yeah. So, kind of nice. He. It's supposed to rain tonight, so if it rains, then at least he's got somewhere to put his bicycle and stuff. Who are you? I'm going to spend yeah, the night. This spot. Get the hell out of here. Uh-uh. This is my spot, and I'm going to spend the night with you. Okay? Is that all right? Ask, we can hook yeah, up. Or grass. Nobody, huh? We can hook up. You yeah, know you're recording? Yeah, I know. Hooking up is okay. <laughs> he was recording. Sorry, guys. Sorry, monkey people. I'm sorry. Yikes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> So he's got his little tent over here. 
I'm going to get out of the car and show it to you a little bit better. Yeah. Uh-huh. I can see the river and the trees. Mm-hmm. And it's shady here. Yeah. So wherever you want to put it, we can put it. Oh, that's fine, I guess. I mean, you're the big one. Yeah. Because any creepy crawlies coming in, I'll be crying or calling or screaming. So you'll be right there. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to get out of the car. Bruno wasn't happy. But he'll be, he'll be out. Yeah, he doesn't realize how hot it is right now. It's very hot. Yeah, I. Temperatures, but it's hot. Yeah, I can't believe nobody's out here. Well, I can. Well, they're all up north in the mountains trying to cool off. <laughs> yeah. That's where they're all at. Yeah, nobody out here. I know where they're at. You could probably take this and we could just sit, stay here for a whole week. Came stay here till Monday like a plan. Right. You messed up. Friday. We can't go Friday. Any day but Friday. Right. Saturday and Sunday. We'll leave Monday. That's great. And come find out you had nothing to do Friday. So we could have went Friday, Saturday, and came on Sunday. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, no big deal. You got an appointment at one o'clock. We got to be out of here at eleven. <laughs> no problem. Guess what? I got an appointment Monday <laughs> at like nine, nine forty-five, whatever. Mm-hmm. And the island. Yeah, that screwed it up. Unless you want me to cancel it and move it. You want me to cancel and move it? Hell yeah. Okay, good. I don't want to leave the spot. Okay, no, I don't want to either. <laughs> no, I and don't want to. There's still room for other people. Yeah. There's, yeah. you know, all kinds of spots. Oh. Those are our other spots. Yeah, we have, We were over there last time. When we set up the, uh, yeah. the SUV tent. Yeah. For we, the first time was right there. Yeah, with our car. I come car. up, I didn't see nobody. I was like... Hey. <laughs> yeah. Nice, huh? Yeah. I thought this thing used to have a fireplace in it. It did at one time. So they took it out. Someone did. It probably rusted. Yeah. It right here. Yeah, it did. I thought I was, I didn't think I was crackers. No, well, we never seen it here. Oh, I thought I saw it here. No, no, we never saw it here. Oh. I just pointed out that there used to be one here. Oh, maybe that was what I was thinking. Yeah. yeah. Because in the winter time, it would have been great to be able to use that, you know. Now, yeah. oh look at this! This is pretty through here. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. Oh, there's a trail down there. Yeah. Oh, we could walk down there. Yeah. Oh yeah. We'll get all our stuff set up. See, once I get here, I don't want to leave. That's my problem. You know, I don't mind going back and forth. You know, checking on my mom and stuff. No big deal. It's right around the corner, pretty much. But, um, yeah, but when I get out here, it's like peace. Just so peaceful. Nobody bothers me. I'll just cancel your appointment. Well. And we'll just move it. Free schedule. Yeah. Yeah, because I won't make it my appointment until mine's at 1. Yeah. So it, I would have to take you. We would have to go straight from A to B. And you'd have to sit in the car. Yeah, yeah that would be hot for you too. So I'll just tell him I had something I have to do. I'll bet you I could have got it yesterday. This place. Oh, yeah. I yeah. thought about it. Yeah. And I'll bet you we could have got this. Uh -huh. But what if there was somebody here last night and left today? Mm hmm. We would have already been set up. Yeah. I know. So, but that's okay. We, we got this good spot. Got a nice garage for the bike. Yeah, just in case. It's supposed to rain tonight. It's supposed to rain tonight? Tomorrow, yeah. Or Monday? Mm-hmm. That's okay. I got a nice ball for my bike. Mm-hmm. What's... I, I, got, I, I got a tarp in my pack that'll cover that. Bike. What's in there? I don't know. Junk. Looks like they somebody just left junk. Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. But at least I thought we used that grill. Oh, instead of ours? For cooking? Yeah. Okay. So I'm not bending over so yeah. far. And but we still have enough fire, aren't we? I didn't bring any firewood. Well, I guess we're not having a fire. Well, when I go back, well, I'll get yeah, some just fire. Grab some firewood. I'll get some firewood. And by then, everything will be pretty much out of the car. Uh, I was thinking we need to reserve one of these spots for a whole week and just, ta even if we go home, you know, and go back and forth. 
You know, we can be out here. Who's, who's to say we can't be out here? Well, no, no, you can. You, you, yeah. You, I think it's two weeks and you yeah. can stay out here. But you can stay in these campgrounds all summer if you want. It's every two weeks you've got to move spots. Right, right. You know? mm -hmm. Like you can't stay here mm -hmm. for three or four weeks. Yeah. So... Which is fair. Now, if somebody comes, we'll have to share this because this is a community um, shelter, you know. Yeah, so. so like if it gets bad, they can come over and gather under here too. Yeah, so, yeah, so we can't just hoard it. So, anyways, I'm going to turn this off and I guess we'll get things together and decide what we're going to do here. Okay? Oh, you guys want to see the inside of the tent? I don't think I showed it. Did I show them? I don't think so. I might have. I don't know. Anyways, he's got it all set up. He put his little beam, his topper on there. <laughs> Whatever you want to call it. My just in case your rain hat, just That's in case it rains. When we yeah. first bought our first tent. Oh, it's got a rain hat. Yeah. I'm like, what? <laughs> it has a rain hat, so. Yeah, it looks cute. Looks really nice. And it's got little vents around it, so. The only problem we had with this whole thing is the way it droops down on either side. And um, you text him and you told him, and he's going to redesign it, right? Or yeah. fix it? Yeah. I told him, I forgot to tell him on my camera, but what I told him was, mm -hmm. I said, it's a good concept. But I said, <laughs> well, I said it's a great concept, but I said, with a little tuning, and my help, it could be the best. <laughs> right. And then he sent me another message saying that he's already working on the problems that I had sent to him. So that's good. At least he's willing to fix these problems. Oh, the seller gets a five star for me any day of the week. Yeah. Yeah, he yeah. took care of me, you know, no problem. Right. Immediately got a, back a hold of me, mm -hmm. no problem. So the seller gets a five star. Yeah. Absolutely. All right, guys, we're going to get situated, and then I'll bring you back and show you. Who's a cut in this? I know I didn't do it. Yeah, you did. I saw you do it. <laughs> I'm sending it back. Now, remember, guys, of course, there comes the airboats and other boats. That's pretty cool, because we just seen a, you know, last weekend, you guys saw me come a big boat. We just saw a little John boat with a little mud motor pulling two airboats. He was hooked onto one airboat, that airboat was hooked onto another, and he was pulling them up the roof, wasn't he, Walt? Yeah, he was. He was doing it. Yeah. So loud. So anyway, remember guys, this thing is huge and it's heavy, but it's not a backpack in the tent. I've seen guys doing similar ones to these saying, oh man, this thing's heavy. You could never backpack with it. No kidding. It's not meant for backpacking. Right. It's a, it's a gazebo and it also, you can use it for a tent. So. It's not something you're going to want to carry around with you a lot. It's for car camping. Bring it in your car and you set it up. So I'm going to get this out of here and then I'll have to start filming. I might have to have monkey film. I don't know if she's like this for some reason. <laughs> she doesn't understand. She can stay on one spot, spot and I can move around this spot. door. And, but she's I was walking so I could get you on your bicycle going down the road. Anyway, so. You see him? Yeah. <laughs> you see that lizard? <laughs> just running around. Hi, buddy. <laughs> All right. He's checking out the tent. So. Got a nice carry bag. Mm -hmm. I'm going to carry this over there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to set it down and we'll get the stuff out of it. I'm talking to them, Mom. Oh. Monkeys over there. Uh-huh. Okay, yeah. All right. And then what? So, 
because he's filming too, so this is pretty funny. So I'm going to sit you guys down here for a minute because Monkey forgot my tripod. Excuse me? Who's responsible for the tripods? Okay, so I got this one, but this one will never hold this two power camera. No. I wouldn't try it. So it's down here. No. And then um, I'll start the review video. Okay guys, we have it up. Shea Bear is putting the straps on for the outside part. We put the top on it because it is supposed to rain. And um, we don't know if it'll rain or not. So, but that's nice. And it's easy to put on. Yeah, it's easy to put on. You can just pull it's it off if you want. It's as easy as our first tent. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we used to wait until it was almost ready for it to rain and we just slide it across. It was no big deal, really. So, and if you guys remember this from my Timu haul, I got my carpet out. So, that should help me, especially in the winter time when we come out and get leaves and mud inside. I'm hoping that it will help a lot. So, this and nice. yeah, and it, and it's reversible, two different sizes. And it also has corners, so you can peg them, all four corners, so it won't move. Yeah. always carry extra pegs. Yeah, he's got it pegged down, so she that's said, cool. I got something, too. <laughs> yeah. Did she come out with that thing? I was like, oh, God. She yeah. said, we're glamping now. <laughs> yeah, we're glamping now. So, but, you know, if I don't want to use it here, I can put it inside our tent that's hooked up to the car. I can use it in this one now that we have this one. This is amazing. It is really good quality. I, I like this a lot. I wish I had known about this first. Then we probably wouldn't have bought the SUV one. I like the probably SUV, but we too. probably would use this more than we would have used. Yeah. We'll still use it, though. Oh, yeah. But oh, some yeah. places we can't get the car, like back over there. Yeah, yeah. Sorry for the boats, guys, but we're right on the river here. 
so you're going to hear them. I can't control that. So there's the two doors there. We're going to go inside and show you. And it does have a floor. You can see the floor. There's the floor. It just Velcors on the side, which is really nice. I like that. And I already put my cot in here. And I'm going to sleep on the cot tonight. So now that's my sleeping quarters. And I'll be bringing Bruno out here too. So Bruno's going to be able to have lots of room in here. You know, we could use this and use it for many things. We could take this and the car tent, use the car tent, you know. And we could put this over the picnic table if we wanted to, you know. We could do it many ways, many ways. So up here, this is really, a, this is a pulley. So you pull it down to, to um, take it down. But, but you also can put, you know, hang a light here. And we have our fan, so I'm going to try to put my fan here, and it has a light too on it, so that's, yeah, and that will be nice. Then they give you these pockets here. Well, that's nice. They even have zippers on them. Yeah, they're waterproof. Those are really nice. And you can take them down and put them wherever you want. Yeah, you can put them any corners you want down here, and, you know, they are waterproof. You could put anything in here, you know, anything. So that's cool. And they give you two of those. There's one over here, and he put this one over here for his demonstration and stuff. Oh, for you. Oh, for me? Yeah. Oh, okay. So you can have it right there. Yeah. But I can move it over by your head if you need it. Yeah. So that's cool. I really like it. Really nice. Oh, there is a thing up here, too. Look, guys. He was talking about this. I didn't see this because it is. Yeah. You could stuff stuff up here, too, if you there's want. one right behind. And there's another one right, right here, too. I can't reach my arm. My arm's not yeah, going to go. Right there with that gray thing. Yeah, right here. So, um, yeah. So you could put it there, too, if you wanted to. So that's really cool. So I'm kind of... You know, I got my stuff here. But we have stuff in the car. You know, I'm not going to bring everything out. We don't need to, you know. But, um, yeah, it depends where we are and what we're doing. Yeah. But like I said before the boat came, if we're back over there, yeah, you know, we can't take the car back in there no more. No, no, so we'd have we'll to have hike. To use this. Hike it in there so we couldn't use the tent for the car. So, yeah, that will be nice too. Well, it's standalone. We could. Mm hmm Yeah. But. That's true. I mean, we can set them both up. Yeah. If we're expecting rain. Mm hmm And we could always bring company with us. We got enough room. But we don't have enough company. <laughs> That's true. Room. Well, you never know. You never know what will happen in your life. Never know. So, anyways, guys, I'm going to let you go for now, and I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, so got a light up here, and I don't know if this is gonna. I don't know if that will heat it, all that water up or not, but we'll see. I mean, if I have to, I'm gonna build a fire. Monkey's getting hungry, and I'm going to. Uh, I'm gonna get her fed. If I have to, I, I will build a fire in that one, and then uh, cook the crab legs. Um, but I mean, yeah, it's supposed to rain. I don't think she believes me. She's going to look at the sign. But the sky's pretty clear, but it has been windy and dry. It did rain last night here, but because some of the stuff around here I noticed was wet. <clears throat> so, all right. I just might do that. She's getting hungry. Hey, you know, she's diabetic, so, you know, she's, she's got to eat. I mean, she's got snacks and stuff, but, you know, she hasn't had anything since lunch, really, other than some crackers and stuff. So, <laughs> Bruno's out there exploring. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. 
Alright. Yeah, I think so. Check this out, guys. I wanted to scrape that out of there. Look at that. Hmm. Let me get a tripod. Let's try to get a fire going with what's in here. My guess is someone just pulled out of here today. It's weird for him to leave on a Saturday, though. That's good for us because we've got a good spot. Our woods a little damp because it rained at the house last night. I don't know if I can. Let me try to find a piece of paper. Uh, well, I bet you they had a fire today, yesterday then. No, this had to be done today. I could always use my lighter, but I like doing things this way. Mm -hmm. There's coals. Wow, there's a big hunk of coal. Yeah. Red hot. Oh, that's nice. Wow. Yeah. Cigarette box here. Oh, maybe, maybe they got told to leave because they had a fire. I don't know. You saw the sign, right? Yeah. Lots of buzzing, you know? No, why didn't you say something? She knew, oh, so she knew there was a fire ban? Yeah. She watches the news or she said it was on the news. Well, well, her mom knew. Yeah. I said, why didn't you say something? You knew we were going camping. Oh, well, I thought you knew, she said. No, we don't watch the news. I'm surprised when you booked it that you didn't see it on there. It didn't. It's not on there. That's yeah. why. I already told you that. Okay. You go go online and no, look. It's you. not there. If you say it wasn't on there, it wasn't on there. If it was on there, I would have said, well, we can't have a fire. But it's not on there. Uh, I figured it'd be 
all right because we've had some downpours, you know. We've had quite a few in the last few weeks. You know, unless they just put it on today. I don't know. We had a F poured when I was at the house. It was a good spring. And then it stopped about an hour. As I was leaving, it, it stopped. It hasn't rained a drop here. It thundered a little bit. Out here. Uh, Feels like coolness. Feels good. All right, I'm gonna let that warm, warm up, and then uh, I'll be back with you. Okay, guys, there we go. We've got her going now. It's only been about five minutes. Well, if we can get by with this until food's done, then we'll put it out. So her mom said, oh yeah, she watches news. She said, I knew there was a fire ban. Monkey's like, why the hell didn't you tell me you knew we were going camping? All right, let me get this going. Then we'll put the crab legs on. Yummy yum. All right. I'm gonna get these cooked up. They're frozen, but they still won't take that long. They're pre-cooked, so uh, there's still a whole bunch over there in that bag. <laughs> okay, guys, so there we go. Monkey's already touring. Is it done? I think so. The crab? Yeah. Did you eat any yet? Kind of. Not fully. Okay, but we got some butter here. She's got her shrimp sauce. We got some of this stuff. What is it? Garlic dipping sauce. Got some of this. This is what was on the grill. Still got a couple pounds over there boiling in the water. So we're going to eat and then I'll be back with you. Yeah. Oh, it has something on there. I'm done. <laughs> All done. How is it, Monk? Very good. Yeah. I still remember first time we went camping. Now I, I warned her too before when we first met. I was like, when I go camping, I eat. First time we went camping, she said, "You want me to get the 
hamburgers already made up? I said, for what? She said, for the camping trip. I ain't taking no hamburger. Hmm. What? What are we going to have? I'm going to cook. We're not taking hamburgers and hot dogs. I'm not a little kid. <laughs> she loves when we go camping because what happens? You eat. Yeah, I get good food. Yeah. We're sitting here in bear territory eating crab. Yeah. Right on. <laughs> and the only one's here. Yeah, the only one's here. So anyway, we're just kind of hanging out. I don't even know what time it is. We don't even look at the time, do we? No. When we're out here. Mm -mm. So, I'm going to ask Monkey. Hey, Monk. Mm -hmm. So you still just want to set this up in the backyard and leave it up? No. Mm -mm. Where am I? Oh, there's my glasses. <laughs> She's like, this is gorgeous. Oh my God, I'm in heaven. Uh, it's 93, my phone's 93%, it's 79 degrees, let's see what the weather is forecasting for tonight, uh, no rain for tonight, um, no rain till tomorrow around noonish, so, yeah, it's uh, 79, fair, it feels like 85, <laughs> so, yeah, uh, let's see. Oh. Yeah, so, oh, what time is it? 11.08. Mm. How was your food, Mont? Oh, really good. Yeah. You said you like it on the fire better? Yeah. Yeah, I do too because you can taste the smoke, you know. Yeah, it's Just really good. Fan, or Timu fans. I like you, the seasoning you mixed in with the butter. That was good. Yeah, I melted the butter and then the seasoning she had. Mm -hmm. What's it called? <laughs> On the seafood seasoning. Seafood seasoning? Mm hmm In the glass jar? Yeah. So I mixed it in with the butter. I just dumped some in. I didn't, you know, just right. dump. Well, I dumped it in a bowl, and then once the butter, butter melted, I poured the butter in, and then... It kind of stirred up on its own. Mm -hmm. It was really good. Yeah. And what's that stuff in the little bottle? That garlic stuff that you bought me for Christmas? Oh, that's hot stuff. Yeah, but what was it? I don't know the name of it. But it was really, really good. Mm -hmm. it? Yeah, it was good. It was really good. You really tasted garlic and some other seasonings in there. Um, you tasted a little salt, a little pepper. Very, very good. <clears throat> Yeah, this is nice. We got our little wind up lamp here. Doesn't last long. I think the battery's getting old. This thing's old. Yeah. But, um, but it works all right. You know, I mean, for if you needed one for an emergency, because, you know, I mean, and you can also charge it too, but it doesn't stay charged long. Like I said, I think the batteries, but that thing's old. But I gave a dollar for that. Yeah. But I figured it was worth it because you can crank it up. So. Right. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. So we're just hanging out here. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. Do you want to do story time? That's up to you. All right. Let me think of a good story for you. We got the owls hooting. Yeah. We, we heard, heard a, the coyotes. Yeah. Well, we heard one. He was howling. Huh? But he was good ways away. He was probably over towards Oak Hammock. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's usually where they hang out at, over in that area. Some They'll come through this this area. They're really cool when they all get together and start howling and stuff. Yeah. It's 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 awesome. Then, you know, it makes the owls start hooting. And mm -hmm. We got the cadises in the back here. We heard some bullfrogs down there and some crickets. Now that the airboats, I still hear one way over there. They're supposed to, they're not supposed to run them after 10 o'clock. No. But, you know, mm -hmm. oh well. Wasn't, wasn't supposed to have a fire either, but I did. I think you were fine with that. It was the, you know, campfire. It said no campfires. So it, it didn't say no fires. It just said no campfires. Right. So I'm thinking on the ground. Yeah. But still, I like to obey the rules. I don't want to get kicked out. No, I know. But at the same time, you know, we got to eat. So, but yeah, the crab turned out really good, didn't it? 
Yeah, it really. It's good. still sitting up there. It's cooling. We got to get it, and get it put in the car, and then we'll lock the car up. And I think my bike will be all right over there. Okay. Seen a guy floating down the creek fishing. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. I think he had a trolling motor. Yeah. Yeah. I got a couple. You guys want you want to hear a true story? Or you want me to make one up? True story. True story. I like true story. All right, I'll be back with you guys in just a second. Let me cool down here for a minute. Okay, so that was pretty cool, wasn't it? Well, yeah. I shut the camera off. It wasn't what three minutes. Yeah. We heard a hell of a racket over here on this table. She thought it was the car. It wasn't the car over here on this table and I was like oh no something got into the crab I was shining the light out there and Bruno's going nuts well he took off to the door he can get underneath the door of this thing and get out yeah. and she hollered for him to come back so he jumped up to keep mommy safe he's growling and barking and shining the light out there I didn't see anything at first so our plates that we had <laughs> those green plates mm -hmm. I just, I'm talking to them She's over there, uh huh, uh huh. I stuck in the bag that that the crabs came in because you know it's ziplock, so I ziplocked it real tight. And I I forgot to put it in the car. I thought it'll be all right there for a little bit because I knew I'd have to go back out and get the crab once it cools down. Put it in the car, and oh, once man that racket. So I get out there and I'm looking around. I didn't see anything. You know, my backpack was fine, the crab was fine, you know, nothing was knocked over. Finally, I walked around, and, and I seen those plates laying there. It, it tried to run off with our plates. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that was funny. That wasn't funny. No, it wasn't. That was not nice there. No, it was not. No, it was not. <laughs> so... Yeah, hey, Mama. I didn't do it. Why are you laughing? Because you did it. Hey, so here's a quick story time. Me and my friend Dupe, his name is Dave, we called him Dupe, uh, hung out together. He was the one that was with me when I got in the fight with the deer. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he was the one that was with me then. Uh, we went camping, and we had a... Uh, <laughs> Grab me. I had uh, one of these. This is going back, you know. This is like, what, 1995 <laughs> probably? And uh, yeah, it had to be around 1995. And so we <laughs> I had this, this old cabin tent. It was like a four person tent. It was, it was enough for me and him to camp out in. I gave like $5 for it at yard sale. It was in good shape, you know, it was excellent condition. So we go back in along this, this creek, and it's called Crooked Creek in my hometown of Cambridge, Ohio. So it's actually off a road called Corduroy Road. Well, Corduroy Road goes over this creek. But, um, and we had had a couple days of rain. We wanted to get out and do some night fishing and camping, and finally, the weather broke and we're like okay it's not supposed to rain till tomorrow let's go do some night fishing the creeks up but you know they should still be hitting we'll do some cat fishing so we did had some we're drinking some beers and stuff so we're along this creek bank and uh yeah it's probably about four or five in the morning and we decided to go in the tent we go in the tent now we don't have pads and all this stuff you know we just they right on the floor of the tent with like, uh, and, and we didn't even have sleeping bags. We just brought a couple pillows and a couple blankets. So, and that's really all we had. But our fishing gear, you know, our fishing poles and tackle box. That was, that was pretty much it. Of course, some beer, some beers. But you know, as time go to sleep, you know, we've you know been drinking all night and we caught caught our caught a bunch of fish. We had a good night and. And I kept watching the, the creek, and it and it kept rising. Then then it kind of stopped about a foot below, you know, it 
before it crest. <coughs> I'm like, we're okay then. It stopped. And it didn't rise anymore for like over an hour or so. We're okay. But we, we just get in the tent and it just starts pouring down. Just hammering down, you know. And I'm like, oh, the tent didn't leak, so we're we're good there's no there's no leaks you know we're fine so it's just almost daylight dave decides he's gotta go take a pee I'm, I'm sleeping right but he woke me up i'm a very light sleeper i heard the tent unzip and i heard holy shit and i said what he said we got to go and we got to go now and i said what and since he opened, since he unzipped the tent, the water came running in. I started getting soaked. The water, the creek had risen, and the water, well, we was in water. I mean, the, our tent was flooded. So he grabbed his fishing pole, I grabbed my pole and tackle box. And we got the hell out of there. And we, we had like half a mile to walk to my car. And, but... Right before you get to where the car was parked, you guys know that creek, you know where I'm talking about, right there at the bridge. You kind of got to cross a little creek, you know, that you could almost jump over, you know, when the water's, when the water's not up like that, you can pretty much just walk down and, you know, to the other side. Well, it was flooded. And this, this water was rising bad. Your car. Mm -hmm. Going in or going out? I don't know. So, anyway, um, so I turned around, shining a flashlight, and, and the tent was just gone. It was just, you know, just collapsing. It was gone. I said, "Man, we gotta go." So we hurried up, and we got that part. We couldn't cross it. There was no way in hell we could cross that. So we had to walk a little farther around this little gully part. And finally, we just said we got to go, and we kind of hopped in and waded up to our chest over to the other side and we climbed up out and got in the car and we were soaked and so I backed the car up to turn around and I just shined the bright lights down where the tent was and we could just see the tent just what was left of it just right down the creek mm -hmm. so if he hadn't got up to take a pee uh, you know I mean we would have been done for because yeah. I mean, no more than he unzipped that tent, I started getting soaked. Because see, it was keeping the water out. Uh -huh. so it was all the way around the tent. Wow. So as soon as he unzipped it, man, that was it. It just came flooding in, and like I said, we 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 took off. And when I turned around, I was probably only about 50 yards. And when I shined the light, and the tent was gone, wow. it was just starting to cave in and stuff. Mm. Amazing, and it was like a flash flood. Wow. Yeah, that. That was that was a really scary time. True story. That was really really scary. That man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was like, man, this. You know, we got back to my house and I was like, oh my god, I, I, I couldn't believe it. If he hadn't had to take a leak, wow. he had to pee, and that, and I'm a light sleeper, and I woke up as soon as he unzipped the tent, and I heard, holy shit, we gotta go, and we gotta go now. And no more he say that, I mean, I was just already soaked, you know. Wow. So I didn't grab, you know, bedroll or nothing. I mean, we just, he grabbed his, because we had a, the fishing pole was leaning up inside the, inside the tent, you know. So he, he grabbed his, I grabbed mine tackle box, my pole and the tackle box, and we got out of there. And like I said, I got about 50 yards away. I turned around and shined the light, and that tent was just rolling like this, just, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was, uh, that was those those pretty scary man hmm. yeah that's um as far as like natural weather wise that's the scaredest i'd ever been the storm didn't scare us you know by any means um but you know i didn't think the creek would rise that fast but but it did and that and it just kept rising and we come back about three hours later and the the water was just to the bottom of the bridge it wasn't going over the bridge yet but just to the bottom of it so uh like and where we was parked the water was coming up to where we was parked so we wouldn't have made it if he hadn't had to pee mm -hmm. i mean we wouldn't have made it because by the time it took the tent out we w we would have been in it all right 
you know, when it started. Yeah. So, yeah, we would have drowned. Mm. True story. Okay, guys, so this is the second day. I've already went to the house to see my mom and did all what I needed to do there. Left Bruno there because, you know, it's really humid, so I think he likes it there in the air conditioner sometimes. But then he was mad because I left him there. So I'll get him at dinner time because I got to take her dinner with me. We're going to cook pork chops tonight and some noodles. Keeping it simple. And uh, we'll do that. And then I'll, um, you know, take it back to her and I'll bring Bruno back. So we're going to go down here and check this trail out out here. I don't know where it goes. I have no idea how far we can go. So we thought we'd walk down here and check it out. Wait for Shaver. He went to get his camera. So wait for him and let him go first. Because you never know what's in the woods. So Zipping and unzipping. It was raining earlier, just coming down. Pouring, pouring. Now, the sun is out for the moment. I don't know how long it'll be because I think we're going to get a lot of scattered showers today, which we need, you know, but we'll see. I like my cot, I suck well. And it rained, and there was no leaks, huh, babe? No leaks. No leaks in the tents on nope. either one of them, right? Nope, no leaks. Yeah. He slept with me last night in the bigger tent. And I think tonight he's going to sleep in his little one. I don't know. That's up to him. He tries to protect me. We did hear a nasty noise last night, and we figured it might be a bear that came to visit to take a couple of plates. Yeah. Huh. Well, I put the plates. The... We made crab legs. Yeah. Big bunch of crab legs. Made them all. And, well, the bag was a Ziploc bag, so when it was done, I put the plates in the Ziploc bag and zipped it up. Uh, that'd be all right. And then I forgot to put it in the car. Well, we heard something out here banging around. And when I came out, there was nothing. I didn't hear anything scurrying around. I just thought it was a raccoon, but it was weird that usually a raccoon you'll hear them moving around or you'll see them. They'll stop so far away and you'll see them. Didn't see anything this morning a guy stopped by and said he lives down here by the gate and he caught a bear on his security cameras yeah so he asked if we seen it come through it was coming this way so i'm thinking it was that bear it could have been yeah very easily so bruna probably scared it okay guys so we want to take a here we go i have Something to filming. yeah i'm filming she's filming me filming her filming me yeah Whatever way you want to go, follow the trail. Pretty in here, though. Maybe we'll see some bear paws prints or something crazy. They probably all rain with that. Hmm. That's probably squirrels looking for nuts. Yeah. What? What do you see? Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. I let him go first. You notice that, right? Because he likes, he doesn't like those spiders. Ooh, he's climbing. Yeah. He don't like us filming him. So, hmm. Yeah, see, we found wildlife already. Okay, Oops. so, yeah, I had, my, I had my stuff that long in the tent. What's this one? Oh my god. Yeah, we might be not going too far. The baby one there. Yeah. You go first. Nope. You see them better than me. Ugh. 
That's scary. Yeah. Moisture, I guess. Or the humidity. <laughs> Find another one? They are nasty. And you get in their web, ugh. And they're all hanging out there, so how do you know, you know? Oh, there's some more right there. We're almost there now. Almost where? To the water. Almost where? We're almost there. Where are we going? I don't know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There's another one there. I don't know if my camera's picking it up or not. Ugh. Yeah, lots of spiders in here. It's not really a trail, like a hiking trail. This is a game trail. You could probably go out this way and go back up and around. Probably with more spiders. Oh, you think so? Uh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I, I know so, Monk. Oh, well, we're down here by the water. I was trying to see if there was a fishing hole here or something. You know. No, this is a game trail. This ain't a people trail. Mm -hmm. You know, deer, yeah. bears, hogs, you know. Yeah. And they're all in here. But there you go. Well, it was a trail. We tried. Yeah. So. Yep. go for a walk and Shaver is going to get on his bike because he can't do the walking thing. I do the walking thing. So we're going to go down here. We've been down here before. I've told you many times. But I love it in here. It's so pretty. It really is. There ain't nobody here. We're the only ones here. Can you believe it? And it's summer. I just figure everybody goes north or to the beach. You know, that's why it's not packed in here. It's never really been too packed. I think maybe there's a couple of times we've seen it really packed in here. But, um, not too bad. And I don't understand why people don't take these up because these are free. You know, you just go online and put your reservation in and it's free. So... That trail thing got spooky because of the spiders. Oh, deer! Oh! I saw a deer! Oh, he was big! Yeah! Oh, wow! Maybe that was that noise I heard that got spooked. Oh, cool. Oh, wow, that's cool. They said that, um, a guy came and talked to us this morning, and he was riding his bike with his dog. He had a carrier for his dog, and uh, he said that we were out here, and they saw he saw a couple of deer out in the open field. We've seen them before there. Yeah. So they're so pretty. Probably was down there by the water, trying to get water, maybe, or they lay in there. So, yeah. pretty in here. Got Shea Bear up there. <laughs> Can you see Shea Bear? Yeah, he's away ahead of me. 
barely see him. Oh well. My bike's at home. I can't bring everything. <laughs> it's too bad. Because we could have rode the trails in here. That would be fun. Yeah. So. Pretty deer. Hopefully I got on camera. I sure hope so. It was facing that way enough. It should have. I don't know. It might have been too far away. Might be able to bring it closer on editing. I'll have to check it out. So, lots of wildlife in here. Shaver left me in the wind. <laughs> I don't walk fast. I take my time. <laughs> well, at least it's exercise. Oh. There he is. You think you got the deer on your camera? I don't have it on. Oh. <laughs> well, I thought you had it on. No, well, every time I turn it off, I usually I see something. Did you hear it? Huh? Did you hear it? I think so. And I always wish I had left it on, so that's why when I walk, I leave it on. If nothing happens, then I can get rid of it. But, yeah. Maybe I see something. I think he does. Checking stuff out. You see something? Oh. Oh, that white thing. Yeah, I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. Are you going to go find out? I don't know. Yeah. Could be just a can. Rolled over over there. Yeah. Hmm. Oh. I should have brought other shoes. I only brought my flip flops. We go back and forth to the house so much. It's like, you know. I should should have brought my other shoes. Oh. Usually there's lots of water in here. Yeah, it's a stream. There's nothing in there. We need this rain. We really do. all the way over there. Oh, there is a garbage can there. That must be new because I've never seen it there before. Oh, that's not him. That's somebody else. Uh. I'm just going through the garbage. Uh. Is she going through that garbage? Is she going through the garbage? When I came in, Shaver met me at the cat gate, and 
there's a little little tiny doggy and like a chihuahua and uh, I guess she was way ahead she says that he goes he'll go home because we thought maybe it was her dog and so I guess he went home he knows how to get home so he, she says that he follows her a lot and so yeah wow Anyway, so I get down by the water, I'll turn you back on. Okay, guys, so made it to the water. It's not that far. And there we are. Might bring the car over here and we could just bring our, and we could fish here if you want. Nobody out here. Maybe do that. We could just drive the car down and we could sit here with our car chairs and fish if you want. You want to fish in that? I don't know. Why? Have a look at it. Look at all the seaweed. Yeah. You ain't going to get nothing in there. have to throw it out, I guess. Yeah, it's pretty low still, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Looks like a tree fell. There. Hmm. You have to pass halfway up in the middle of that. Yep. Pretty much. There's even water up here. <coughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. It sure is, usually. It's yeah, it's very low. Mm -hmm. Oh well. Alright, Shea Bears thinks he can go over this piece of stick here, guys. Let's see what he does. Oh, very good. Oh, you could go higher. What about the higher one? Mm. Probably. <laughs> I he said, Hold on. I want some you wreck. <laughs> well, he's always, you know, blowing up. He doesn't feel like anything going over that. No. No. Not with those tires, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, that's cool. Yeah, can you believe there's nobody out here? We're the only ones tenting. Yeah. Amazing. And we got a lady going through the trash getting cans. If she walks past again, I'll give her all those Coke cans I got. Too. Yeah, you could if she wants to. Yeah. All right. Get after. Oh, get here comes can. somebody. Oh, maybe he was camping out back, way back there. Mm. He might have been camping in the woods there. Yeah, I was a bet you that's his truck. Yeah. Well, that truck came in this morning. Oh, it did? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Never know. Hey. You never know. People do. They like to go fishing and camping and being outside. There's a lot of people in here today. It's Sunday. People are just out and about today. That's good. I don't yeah. see people out. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he might have went to the cabin. I think he was fishing. Mm. Hold up fishing poles the telescope. Oh, maybe he was over there, yeah. Mm-hmm. Alright, off we go. So monkey took a walk and I rode my bike with her down to the other side there. The other end. There's a small log I wanted to ride over. I told her I'm going right over this log and I took off 
And she said, stop! <laughs> I hit the brakes and I said, what? She started turning her camera on. She said, I want to film you crashing. <laughs> she actually said that. I want to film you crashing. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't crash. No, you didn't. <laughs> it just would have made a good video. <laughs> I want to film you crashing. Uh, I do love you, though. <laughs> we're just hanging out in the tent, cooling down a little bit. Yeah. Well, cool. I like the tent. Yeah? Yeah. I like the blue. So you want to set it up permanently in the backyard? No. Huh? We're going to use it. <laughs> <laughs> I told her, I said, come on, man. She said, well, we got the other one to take with us. I said, that other one's a pain in the ass to set up and tear down. You're talking about the one that goes over the pick table. Yeah, the instant piss you off one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's horrible. I'm like, you've never set it up. You <laughs> set it up next time. Then then tell me which one you want to set no, up. Because this one's set up easy. It's hard to set up, that sucker. This yeah. one's set up real easy. Yeah, it's very nice. I like it. <laughs> It's a nice tent. And we have lots of room in here. Oh, we're yeah. Get this is medium size, too. Yeah, we're going to get you a cot so you have they a They got a 10 and a half, 11 and a half, and 12 and a half. <laughs> this is the 11 and a half, so. It's nice. It was well made, too. They gave me a choice. I told them 12 and a half, and then they got back with me and said, would you, would you still be interested in the 11 and a half? I said, yeah, that's no problem. So, I think this is big enough. Oh, yeah, for us, Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that other one would probably be huge. It's a lot better than the instant piss you off one. Oh, yeah. What's it called? Instant up or something? Yeah. No, that thing, no, no. <laughs> I said, we can set that one up in the backyard and leave it up. Yeah. I was just looking for something we could get under and sit. In. I understand. Yeah. It's big enough. I mean, you know, you got plenty of room with a picnic table in there. So you got room to put a couple chairs. Yeah. Yeah. But... I was like, man, no, look, I see you don't understand. That thing's hard to put up. You don't have to put it up. I do. <laughs> That's true. I've seen you struggle with it a couple of times. Every time. Yeah. Because I thought the first time, ah, you know, it's tight and, you know, it'll stretch out. It'll, nope, it never got any easier. It's the same, and tearing it down is the same way. Yeah. So, it's this no thing's fun. a this thing's a breeze. I never set one of these up before. Yeah. And it went up pretty quick. Oh, I liked it a lot. Yeah, this tent is awesome. I got the, well, what Monkey calls the rain hat. I got the rain fly on, but yeah, you would be able to see out through there, no problem. That blue mm -hmm. that you see right in here, all the way around there. What the hell is that? Yeah. All the way around there, that blue you see, um, that's, that's the rain fly. So, with that off, we'd be looking up, well, we'd be looking at a tree, but, because I didn't want to set it up out there in, in the sun, you know, so, uh, I think I'm getting low on battery here. Okay, I've got to change my battery, and I'll be back with you guys if something exciting happens. Like okay, guys, we're back. I'm done fishing, because now I'm cooking some pork chops and some noodles. I thought she would want fried potatoes. She said no. So we just got these noodles. They're nor noodles. Mm -hmm. That wasn't our box, by the way, but we just thought we would use it for trash because just right up the road here is a dumpster. So we're going to take that and put it in the dumpster before we leave. But oh, my fishing pole is down in the water. I wondered where it was. It's down there in the water. You could have a fish on it. I might. I wrapped the line. Yeah. around a, one of those tree stumps and then put the rod in another tree stump. So. You should go check it. Alright, we're going to go check it here in a minute. <laughs> right, I'm kind of cooking right now. Yeah. Alright, and then Bruno made it back. Yep, Bruno's back, Bruno's back.
fires for him. And uh, Bruno's running all over the place. He's having a good time exploring. We don't, if there's nobody here, we don't leash them. You know, we're the only ones here, so. But if somebody else was here, we would probably put them on a leash. So, here you go. You, You're welcome, babe. See, that's two fishies. Woo! Woo! Yeah, these ones got the teeth. Yeah, you need to not get too close, Bruno. They're nasty. He's watching them flip. Ah, ah. He's a floppy one. Kick him in the water, Bruno. Bruno, kick him in the water. He's like, nope. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you remember yours? Yeah. Bit the hell out of him. Yeah. I did. It bit you good. Pretty cool. Yeah. I didn't think there'd be anything on it. I told you. And then when all that seaweed come up, I'm like, there's not, not that much of a current because the water's so low. So then I figured there must be something on it. Is he dying? No. No. I'm just letting Bruno check him out. There you go. Go on. Well, he didn't fight on there. He probably wore himself out. He wore himself out trying to get off. Yeah, probably. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. Now I want to fish. I didn't think there'd be anything on there. I'd have brought my camera down. Yeah. Just checking the water out. Look. <laughs> it's like, ooh, this is water. How'd that fish get in there? He's looking up there. That's where they live, in the water. He's so cute. Those old minnows. Yeah. Uh, uh huh. Nice. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Look at the mouth. Yeah, I saw that. Huh? Maybe he's hot. He's curious. Yeah, he sure is. Mm -hmm. Is that a pad there, or is that hard sand? Just hard sand. sand I imagine. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Pretty out here, isn't it? Yep. You got two fishies. Two. Deuce, baby. Two fishies. This is wild. <laughs> Yeah, she's checking it out. Maybe we come down here and he'll just walk in. Yeah. Yeah. Stay over this way. Uh huh. Big dude over there somewhere. Stay over this way. He might smell him. No. <laughs> he won't come over here. No. He won't bother Bruno. He will not come over here. They don't go chasing stuff. People think they do, they don't. No. Now, if you jump in the water right in front of one, yeah, he'll attack you. Mm -hmm. But they're called opportune eaters. Mm. They eat when the opportunity's good. Mm -hmm. So, like, if a gator lunges at me, if mm -hmm. I make it away from him mm -hmm. on his first initial lunge, mm -hmm. are you listening? Mm -hmm. Let me explain this to you. Yeah. He will not chase me up the bank. No. If he misses you on the first lunge, that's it. He's not trying again. Mm. Yeah, for real. They they won't they won't chase you. And alligators they they'll make that first lunge. If they don't get you, that's that. They'll leave you alone. <clears throat> you just got to be quicker than him for that first second, and then you you don't have to run from him. Yeah. Yeah, if he misses you, you can stand there and stare at him. He won't do nothing. Hmm. Alright, I'm going to turn you off for a bit. So what are we doing, babe? Uh, we're breaking camp. Yeah, we're breaking down. Yeah. 
We're going home. By the... noon, we would have got this spot. Yeah. I'd have reserved it all week. Yeah, because we can come back and forth. I mean, a lot of people do that. They go out in the wilderness near their house and use there's it as a cottage. Water. Yeah, there's no problem with that. Mm -mm. You can stay here. I don't know if I mentioned it before. You stay. You can stay here as long as you want. But every two weeks, they want you to move sites. Yeah. The sites aren't reserved, just the campgrounds themselves. So the sites are first come, first serve. Mm -hmm. But, you know, so every two weeks, they want you to move. So, like, if you got this spot, it gives someone else a chance to enjoy it, too. So. Right, right. Uh, it's a good little spot. I didn't mind it at all. Nope. So, we're going to tear it down. I got half of it out of there and I cleaned up a little bit over here. I didn't know if you wanted to take that hose off of that. Yes, the hose yeah. goes inside the stove. Oh. Oh. So it doesn't get all? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> More work, but that's okay. We'll, we'll deal with that later. Yeah. We've um, got plenty of time, but i got to finish shooting taking that down. Yeah, well, once you get that down, and really, if you want to stay here for a little bit, you can stay here by yourself because you're riding your bike home. Why do I want to stay here? I want to go home and get a shower. Oh, okay. It's not, I'm just was suggesting because, yeah, you're riding your bike. No, I am not. You are riding my bike. No, I'm not riding your bike. What? Somebody's got to ride it. Why? Come here. Holy shit, I see it from here. Oh. <gasps> How did that happen? They like you. I swear they like you. There's a spider on his bicycle. I don't know if you guys can see from here. But, yeah. Nice. Okay, guys. So, guess what? Monkey is riding my bike home. No, I'm not riding your bike home. <laughs> no. It's your turn. Well, my camera's on there. You can use my camera. Uh, no. Nah. Damn it. Did he move? No. I guess... The, the bike's staying. We'll just hook that up to the back of the car. I, I'm not. Nope. Well, maybe he'll, maybe he'll get a stick and just shoot it off. Yeah, maybe. It will. Amazing how fast they come, huh? And they create these webs so fast. It's amazing. It really is. And there's all kinds of them here, right now. I've never seen so many. I don't yeah, think. I walked through these poles yesterday. Yeah. No problem. Went out there, came back in. What the hell? That fast? Yeah. I know. I went out there five minutes. Come back and ran through a cobweb. Hmm. But yeah, he's pretty good size there. Uh huh. Well, that was a good bike. <laughs> sure ain't gonna miss it. <laughs> no. He's not worth six hundred and ninety-nine dollars. That damn thing. You see that stick over there? That's what you can use in the fire. Yeah, you can use whatever stick you want. Yeah, and just shoot them away. Yeah, you can use whatever one you want. <laughs> he hates spiders. And you know, I think they know it. If you just dealt with it, that you, it wouldn't be around you so much. I really, I really believe that. Kind of. Maybe. <laughs> He's not. I don't Maybe touch you spiders. Just deal with it. <laughs> it won't be around as much. Hey, I've killed many spiders. I have too. And I tell you, we got some spiders in Florida. Oh, and the further south you go, the worse they get. Go down to the Everglades. <laughs> well, yeah, but that yeah. everything's huge down there. Yeah, it's something. Well, you know, when you live in a tropical climate, mm. yeah, that's what you got to deal with. Yep, that's what you got to deal with. Anyways, I'm going to turn this off, and when he starts shutting it down, I mean, the, the tent's shutting down. <laughs> or if he does something crazy with this spider, I'll turn you back on. I know nothing crazy with it. The bike's staying. <laughs> <laughs> and like him squiddling brakes anyway. Uh, nice. Okay, guys, so guess what? Monkey is riding my bike home. No, I'm not riding my bike home. But my camera's on there. You can use my camera. Uh, no. Damn it. Did he move? No. 
I guess it, the, the bike's staying. Who just hooked that up to the back of the car? I, I'm not. Nope. Okay, guys, I got everything out of there. So, Shaber is going to slowly take it down, take his time. Take it down. He has to do it for the um, advertisement that he's going to be doing for this this um, gazebo, tent gazebo. I loved it. I really did. Lots, lots of room in there. Perfect for us. And uh, I'm trying to get the stand. Sorry, guys. So we had a really fun time. It was very comfortable. I had better sleep in that than I had in anything I've ever had. He was sleeping in the car. Because I had that cot and I slept on that cot. Oh my God, that cot was heaven. So it was a lot better. I slept a lot better. So that makes a difference when you get a good night's sleep. As Leo would say, it's like sleeping on an angel wing. Oh, I forgot my things. Right? Yep. Sleeping on an angel's wing. I'll put them in the bag. I, we used our little little stuff I got from Timo. These these lights, they were fun. We put them on the inside and we used them a lot. Very nice. And I liked my rug that I got from Timu, and I like the bag because you go to Walmart, they don't come in bags. They come in a roll. And they're more expensive. So, I think we'll get use out of that. Especially in the winter time when it gets a little muggy and soggy out here. And then I can, uh, you know. I like that if the floor away. gets muddy, yeah. you can take it out and take it home and hose it off the hose. Can't yeah. Do that with a tent. No, no. Yeah. Because that floor comes out, that's what he's talking about. I'm talking about the one outside it, but yeah, yeah, you can, and if you don't want to put the floor in because you want to put a heater in there or something, you know, or you just, you know, want to keep one area clean and one area for dirty stuff like your feet or whatever, you can fold it over and do half of it. Or you can just leave it out. Yeah, yeah, like leave it. you're going to put furniture with pokey feet. Yeah. You don't want to poke them through your floor. All right. So you can just leave it out if you want. Yeah. But I like the floor in it because those leaves and everything get everywhere. And I can walk around in my bare feet. All right, here he goes. Okay, now to take this down, I've just got the doors pulled back to show you guys how easy this floor is to take out. Again, it's just Velcroed around the edges. Then you can take it out, shake it off. You can take it home, hose it off with a garden hose. You can't do that with a regular tent. Now the next step, you just go around any stakes that you put in, that you stake the tent down with or anything like that, go ahead and pull the stakes out. And put them in the bag that was provided to you. A lot of guys will take these off 
I always leave my guy, guy lines hooked up because that way I don't lose them. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the rain fly off, which is just hooked in with those little hooks. Just shake it off, fold it up, and this will go in your bag. Now, we're going to take the door frame poles out, just untie them real simple. Give it a little pull and it comes right out. And you do that to all three poles. Okay, now we're going to lay this thing down. The first thing we're going to do is go in the center, pull the center down. Just like that. Now we're going to pop the sides in. We're going to fold it up and roll it up. Just like that. And then roll it up. Now we're going to get our tie that came with it, we're going to tie it up and I'll show you how to put it in the bag. Now we're going to take our strap, we're going to put our strap on. And it just clips into place. Just got a buckle. Cinch it up. Now get the bag. We'll put it in the bag.
watching. She's going to take this. I'm going to hook up my trailer. She's got to get the house. I got to get the house. Yeah. And, uh, got a couple things over there I forgot. Oh, well, you want to put them in the car? Or yeah, this will yeah. go in the car. Yeah. I'm done filming, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, uh, Monkey's going to, her memory card got full. I don't know how. You got a big memory card. And you're only shooting in 1080. I haven't filled mine up yet. And mm -hmm. I'm shooting in 4K. Mm hmm. But, um, just uh, clear it next time you go out. Mm -hmm. She's either running out of battery or memory card, so it's already well over 90s right now, and we're in the shade. Yeah. So. Yeah, we were going to leave a little bit earlier, but this man that saw us yes, but the, the, day, the day we came. Yeah, Saturday. And, yeah, yeah, he came over here again, and he, stopped he started by and talking. And wanted stuff. to tell us goodbye, and yeah. uh, he just lives right down here at the end of the gate. Yeah. Hell of a nice guy. His yeah. name's Clay. Nice to meet you, Clay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, he, he wants to get him one of those um, bike, tent, trailer, camping trailer things that I bought. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, he's got an e-bike, too, and he's got a little dog rides around the trailer. So. Yeah. Yeah. He, he's got a rescue dog. Very nice dog. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, hell of a nice guy, huh? Yeah, yeah. very. Yeah, very, very nice. Very nice guy. Yeah. So, good meeting you, Clay. And to everyone else, thanks for joining. I know it's a long video, but, you know, hopefully you stuck around. And if you're interested in this, you heard the info. <laughs> I like it. It'll also be linked in, the, in this video as well, guys. So, you don't have to go back and try to find it. Right. If you're interested right. in it. I'll put the code, and it's it's actually a uh, discount link. When you go to that, that takes you to their discount page. And then right below that, I'll have the discount code. You can copy and paste it right in there. I think it's 10%. But, yeah. This, so, pricey. it is a little heavy, huh? I think this will be great. Price. Yeah. It's a little heavy, but again, you know, this is for car camping. Where you just drag it out of the car and set it up right there. You don't mm -hmm. have to carry it very far or and yeah. uh, it, it is hot to tear, well, not tearing down was fine, but zipping it up in there and then I got, had spiders on me. And Yeah, yeah. this whole area is really full of spiders right now. Yeah, he's lived here four years and he said it's the worst he's ever seen it. He yeah. started to go down the trail today and gave up. Yeah. yeah. He said, that was it, I'm done. <laughs> yeah, they're hanging everywhere. All right, guys, so thanks for watching, Monk. Monk says she's out by y'all. Don't forget to check out Monkey 1000. She's... She's got a little different stuff on her video of this camp out. So mm -hmm. there was a couple other things we wanted to do. She brought a game last night. I really wanted to play, but and then, well, she took a nap good. in the afternoon, mm -hmm. and then um, then later on in the evening, it just I was so tired. It's the heat. Yeah. Because this thing really made a big difference. Oh yeah, yeah. I had I was comfortable, and I had my little fan in front. Yeah. And when it ran out, I was still comfortable. Yeah. I yeah. have a nice cross ventilation in it. Oh, yeah, that really thing's nice. amazing. Yeah, and they do have a bigger one than this one, too, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah if you didn't see that video yeah. uh, of this, it they've got a 10 and a half, 11 and a half, 12 and a half foot. Yeah. So there's three smaller, big, well, the small one's actually pretty big. Yeah. But we got the medium one, so. And this is fine for us. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, it, it turned out good, but we was going to do a popcorn pop, pop and thing, but we'll do that at the house. That's not a big deal. Yeah, it just got too long. In the next long. couple of days. I got, I got some more videos right. I got to put out, so. Um, but we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Shea Bear, the Myth, the Man, the Legend. Gone for now, Monk. Mike says she out. Bye, y'all. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Have a good week.